south and we are heading up to Red Bank, New Jersey to hang out with our boy Will Dirty Inc. Um, he did a t-shirt design for us, a freedom to dream. Uh, really nice calligraphy, like cursive print and he is the same one who let me borrow his DSLR camera when I didn't have a camera at all. So you guys have seen him in other videos if you've been watching for a while. If not, you're about to meet him in a little bit. So we're going to be on the parkway for like 80 miles more. And then we're getting off at, I think, exit 109. And we're going to have a whole fun-filled day checking out his shop. And then he's going to take us around to some cool abandoned graffiti-type places where we can take footage and video, uh, video and take some pictures if we see something we like. So for the dream. We're headed there now. What's the heavy claim out here? <laughs> Gonna go get my my luxury coffee, as Radical Rach would say. <laughs> I can't fucking do this. Forget this thing. No, you have to have it. It itches. If you don't have it, then it's pointless to even have this video camera. Lies. Because once you get good audio, you can't go back. You just gotta hold it like a mic. This is, I'm yeah, just you look so damn hot. pee myself. Viewers want to know. Take this. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, it's closed. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> you went too luxury. Cinnamon dulce. Is this cinnamon? Um, friend, y'all. Yeah. Can you come over here, please? It seems like Helen. Okay. You. Dude, the boy. What's up, boy? I think I pulled up out front. Where uh, am I supposed to be at the address you sent me? Uh, yeah, but there's like mad different ways to get there. Uh, if you don't see my car, you're not in the right spot. What? Did, when you got off the parkway and you dude, yeah, uh, that's the wrong one. That's why I was saying. I don't, I on. don't, I don't fucking know. To be honest with you, what's what's the address? Is it like an apartment complex and everything's brick? Yeah, but that's not where I am. That's oh, shit. Oh, I so, did that. Uh, that was my fault. You're out? You try not so to do that, right? But Hi, if, baby. If you, like, try to go see her inside, she looks like a little no -no. she'll either attack or just haul ass. Look how fucking cute she is, though. Dude, she, she looks, looks oh like, God, she does, she looks she's like, she's a Wawa. She, Dude, oh my crap. god, look how cool her tail is. My Puffed daughter up. found her in a box at Wawa, and I didn't know you guys... Should have named her Wawa. I had no <laughs> idea that you guys, at that time, found a cat there. And look like her. Uh, did you see Wawa and before? The Wawa right here. Yeah, no, I did, uh... No, I don't think I saw Wawa. Abandoned when she, she had wobbly legs when they abandoned her. Little baby. Little but I'd bang. like to thank the asshole that left her at Wawa for my daughter to find. Look at the cutie. Right in, Come on. Right in the Baby, box on top hi. of the dumpster. She's so cute though. She is. What's the heavy bodega claim today, boys? Uh, Takis. Let's get some Takis. Claiming the party dry. Little pink bandana. Is that what they got in here? It, it's just like randomness, you know. Madness, you mean? I've heard, I've heard rumors of people, uh, that kid Norman Comics buying Takis just because of you. No way. Yeah. Norman Comics. <laughs> he told me that. Yeah. That dude's a legend. <laughs> 
good crack every time I see it. That? Sure, yeah. That's where you put in crack lights. That's nice. Yeah. It's for cleaning dishes, but not really. 100. Yeah. And then it's like Soho, like shopping, you know what I'm saying? Um, but Heritage Liquors, I was there forever. They just shut down recently. So there's an Urban Outfitters over here. You ever go shopping there? No, I don't shop there. Is it funny how you can buy the same clothes at the thrift store for like three bucks? Yeah. But they sell I, them there for like 90? I would Somebody prefer. That's crazy. So here's Jay and Silent Bob's comic book store. The secret stash. Yeah. I know the guy who filmed that show. His name's Jeremy Snyder. <laughs> That's the Molly Pitcher Inn. Do you ever go there for like a bed and breakfast? No, it's crazy expensive. I think they sell batteries in here. Is it open? Yeah, it's open. This used to be the video store in the movie on this side. Alright, so what's your heavy claim right now? The heavy claim? This yeah. is the store where they film the movie Clerks. Kevin Smith, yeah. Jason Mewes, um, Brian O'Halloran, and uh, this section of the building was the VHS store, because back then we didn't have DVDs, so you had to go rent a movie. Um, this was the Quickie, well I think it was, the, I'm not sure if it was called the Quickie Mart. Um, it's the same sign I think. Yeah, and uh, the same online, or you can't see. I didn't realize that it was made in 1994. Independent black and white comedy film. In my eyes, the best independent comedy movie made in New Jersey. And uh, is that your boy? Yeah, we're all boys. <laughs> so obviously Kevin Smith is a total legend and directing uh, you know stuff like CW he's doing the flash right now but it just goes to show that you know some local boys with no money you know if you have an idea and a dream you know you can pretty much do whatever you want you know, if you have an open mind and believe that anything's possible. So it's just amazing that this store is still here. It's uh, and legit underground pop culture, though. Yeah. For it not to be here would just be ridiculous. Yeah, and if you see, they still have the uh, poster up front, but that's Clerks 2. Which was still good. Yeah, that was filmed in uh, Los Angeles. Um, it was meant to to look like it was filmed on Route 35 in Middletown. I uh, thought it was in New Jersey on that dump. Yeah, it, you know it could I mean? be, but I don't think it was. Um, they built the, the fast food store um, for the movie. The hotel was next to the, the fast food joint, but they built the actual restaurant. And... Uh, the rooftop here was the scene where the boys were taking some stress out playing hockey. Hockey's real popular in this area. This guy's trying to get out of his car there. Does he know about the movie? Oh, you're on Candid Carol. I'm, I'm sure you know about the movie Clerks now. About the what? The movie Clerks that was filmed here. Not really. No, really? in 1994. It was a independent black and white comedy that was filmed at this store. Okay. Yeah. The movie poster's right there. Yeah. Oh. That was part two, but the first one was filmed here. And uh, that was the VHS store. Did you ever know that? No. No? no. Did you grow up around here? Not really, no. No? Branch. Oh, okay. That's a, a lot of history camera, here. Right? It's a camera. Yeah. It's great. Great. So. It's, uh, Low-key production gods, I guess. Is that the a professional? Uh, yeah. Good show. Yeah. In my own mind, you know? Yeah. Let's go inside and check this place out. Yeah, let's go. Here, let me get the door for you. Okay, my man.
Thank you. So I think one of the best scenes from the movie was when the guy was in here and he was telling everyone how bad cigarette smoking was. Um, so he was talking all the customers out of buying cigarettes because on the down low he was trying to sell a product of his own. Um, I think it was chewing gum or some yeah, shit. I, I don't. I don't remember. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Man. Have a good one. So, if uh, the counter was this way, that dude. It was. For sure. It was turned. <laughs> yeah. And you have uh, to go back and look at this. Yeah. Compare notes. And I, I haven't been through this store in so long, but it looks pretty much the it's same exactly as it was. Maybe they changed a leaky ceiling tile, if anything. But that sign's probably been there forever. That's a rad sign, employees only. The from the movie. And then, at the end of the movie, you see a woman kneeling down, going through all the milk cartons, the milk jugs. I believe that was Kevin Smith's mother. Um, okay, I who, remember that. Who played that. Um, but yeah, I wish I wish I had watched the movie and I could, you know, get into more depth about it. But the but place they speaks this, for itself. They have this shirt because they know. Yep. So just like the Welsh farms, bandanas, hats, cat food. We're in Leonardo, New Jersey. Yeah, this is Leonardo. So this is uh, Leonardville, Leonardville Road. All right. I mean, we got what we needed. Unless you got some more info. I'm not really a clerk's buff myself. Yeah. No, I just know that uh, when the movie came out, it was um, it was like an instant cult classic. You know, whether it does well in the box office or not, it really doesn't matter. They probably sold who knows how many DVDs. And even though it wasn't a box office hit, Kevin and Jay and the boys all made you know, illustrious, long-lasting careers out of it, you know? It's a timeless classic, too. Yeah. Like, this place is still here now. Here we are making a YouTube video about it. Yep. And how many years? Still here. So, 1994. So, this is 24 years ago that they put this movie out. So, it might have even been made 25 years ago. Because I'm sure the movie took... Well, I, I think it took probably... I think they did it in less than a month because uh, the budget was so low. So. Do you want to get this? Huh? Do you want to get some? Pretty classic though. All right. Cool, Egyptian musk. That was your high school dream? Egyptian musk and I think like patchouli were the two. Get the ladies all fired up. Yeah. Like, uh, back in like the 70s, yeah. I think I went to high school in 1974. <laughs> oh, man. But I, I got bread, but I mean, that's just a whole new level of uh maintenance. All right, we got what we gave for it. Store where they filmed the movie? It's a little difficult because it's uh, so much stuff in there. Yeah, do you think you could just open the door so we could take a look in just to kind of see what's going on? Like, we'll be real quick. We just want to get a little footage for nostalgia reasons. Yeah, well, you know, the, the, the Clerks movie that was filmed here, I was friends with one of the people in the movie, and I, I haven't gotten to see him in a while, so I'm just kind of reminiscing. I'm just wondering if they have any old signs from the movie, or... Nothing I can give you right now. And thank you so much for letting us take a peek. It's bad.
bad. You can't look at it. There's nothing left. You got oh, there's. They still have VHS tapes. No way. Yeah. Oh my god, that's actually so cool. I'm coming. One second. So shout out to Jay Muse and Kevin Smith and please. Brian O'Halloran. Just my coming in. Sorry. Thank you though. We still got some of the VHS. <laughs> I noticed it used to be on the left side of the wall. And now it's down. I know every everything was on a different wall, but they she do, she doesn't think anything changed. Yeah, she's like, no, I've been here 23 years. It's the same. Nine I'm like, or 29. Were. I'm like, no, it's it was laid out a little different, but you know. Yeah, I'm always curious to why nobody rented them out. I don't know. I, but I, she was kind of cool, like just let us look in there. Um, yeah, no, yeah. Even never, she got I'm, real quick. I'm wondering if maybe. Kevin or Jay or one of them bought it and they just haven't done anything with it yet. Yeah, I was thinking using it. I was, yeah. Yeah, because I was thinking because I heard that they keep props in the back too. Yeah. So, and that's kind of like overflow from the stash. Yeah, I mean, if there's still VHSs there, then obviously they left it for a reason. Yeah. I mean, maybe a Clerks 3 coming back to New Jersey. Yeah, if they ever need to use it to, for filming. And like, I, I figured they probably bought the whole property because this way, you know, they can kind of close it off and yeah. to film or anything. And they're lucky because, you know, that when that was a big open lot, obviously it's not anymore. Yeah. You know, everything's getting built, changed, or it's going up. Um, you know, pretty soon there's going to be nowhere else to build. Everything's just going to get higher and exactly. higher. So I feel like that's a lot in this area anymore. So it was just cool that they, you know, played on top of this building and yeah, no, it's awesome. I just wish that this structure wasn't here and you could see yeah, the lot amazing. from yeah, that, that they have all the things with the numbers on them still, like they're rentals. Yes, the stickers. That's awesome. Uh, cool. Yeah, we can talk. What was your name, dude? Uh, Brandon. Tucker. Nice to meet you. Will. Brandon. Nice. Wondering if I should just fucking rip it off and just get all fixed. That's not real. Yeah, whoever changed my oil didn't put the fucking cap in. Computer screen to just watch you. I'm already covered in paint, but... What's your claim out here? In the streets of Newark. In the streets of Newark? We're good. We got the goddess Sammy J with us. Local celebrity. We're going to go check out some art. She's local everywhere. There is no local with Sammy J. We're in the streets like Sesame. Walking on that sidewalk. Yeah. This is strictly for the view of the car. <laughs> <laughs> so do you, do you want to cross and get something from over there, or? Yeah, let's just walk across and walk down. All right. But there's so much. What's the heavy claim out here? Well. I obviously don't like cameras unless I'm in control of them. So there's so much shit going on in this city that no one's even aware of. So we just wanted to post random eyeballs just to give people a heads up to look around. I mean, look around at the streets. They're covered in garbage. There's waste cans every corner, but people just like to throw sh stuff in the middle of the street. So it's just a message for people to open their eyes and be aware of their surroundings and look at what's going on. So the eyes on you, but 
they're really just looking up into the sky because obviously no one's looking around at what's going on down here. So let's see that. Can I see the, the picture of the way it looked when it first went up? Turn the camera so it gets bigger. Yeah, you can look. It's too much glare. But. Yeah. So that's your eye. Yeah. So I did some prints that I was going to use in another project. And that was one of them. Well, you're, I don't, you're not going to be able to see till they get in the car. But. I don't know. I always hated look. I always hated looking at myself in the mirror. I don't know why. Maybe because of the shit that I used to do. But uh, think you know and it's like who gives a fuck what other people see or think of you you know and it's just the fact that fucking nobody is looking down you know like I like to look up and imagine what else is there other than this reality but right now my reality is here and all I see is just total madness cameras on every street corner, every street light. You know, Big Brother watches, but what the fuck are they gonna do? What, what are they gonna do to help out this environment? You know, nothing. So just a little bit of art to spruce up a dilapidated, just dying society. It's just so fucked up. To put it up, I kept getting fucking chased. So I asked him. Dude, right there. Yep. Go ahead, then, but not that one. And then that's Jack's music. That's been there forever. You want to go there? Yeah, we can go in there. Oh, you want to go out here? Uh, yeah, I didn't know if you want to check out the comics. Yeah, I definitely do. That's a Kevin jacket all day. Classic. Classic. From yeah, the from the mill. Yeah. yeah. The props. Oh, he's gonna grab. Okay, okay. Sorry, I thought you were all set. I thought you were waiting for him. Yeah. Dante is such a legend. Virtual would go bonkers in here. Miracles in your ass. Jesus on the fish. You're forever. The helmet with the antennas. You never saw that movie? I don't think so. Base God.
for the base god. I feel bad for people that have to sell off their shit that they, you know, use to make movies, what not, anything really. This was featured in a movie you claim? Chasing Amy. So that's another movie they made. Yeah, um, Chasing Amy was, I think, like 1996. Right. Chasing Amy? Yeah, Chasing Amy. And they filmed it here, some of it? Yeah, the scenes in the music store were this music store. And uh, this scene, that's uh, the Oceanic Bridge, which is seven minutes down the road here. Uh, they still have the little park there. I'm not sure if the swings are still there. I forget how much they filled around here. But yeah, Ben Affleck and that's Joey, Lauren Adams. So that bridge connects uh, Rumson to Highlands. You know the, that hilly road we took when we left here? That's that river. So those are the hills we drove through. Where's the music shot? They got a picture of it? Uh, yeah, see the brick? This was all filmed in here. Okay, let's go in. Brody and the boy Ben Affleck. <laughs> yeah, but this is this has been like this forever. You don't want to go around here. Now, I don't come in here much anymore, but I used to. I didn't realize how many. What's up, Sean? How's it going? How you been? Not bad. I was wondering if you were going to be here today. What's going on? Oh, there we go. Three. Three. Just so official. How's that spin? Hard to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's so classic. Let's see it. That smooth life is so heavy. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, just got back from an epic excursion up in North Jersey with Will Dirty Inc. And yeah, sure. And we got a package in the mail from uh, from Tom Tetrick all the way in Lake Forest, California. Thank you. Before we even open it, thank you for your gracious gift. So you guys are about to pop this thing open. So now, Tucker, Sammy, and Lola. Mr. No No! Oh, he's eating his dinner. He's really hungry, so he's not in here. But if he wasn't eating his dinner, he'd be in here. He loves opening gifts. Because he's a brat doggy. He's a baby. Baby doggy. Just a note. Woo! Cursive. My eyes are terrible. It says, Dear Tucker, Sammy J, and Lola. Wanted to send a little something to y'all to show our appreciation. That was a very nice letter. So now maybe we'll do another video. I mean, we definitely will, but showing more of the area to make you feel like you're at home.
Pittsburgh. Yeah. Is Pittsburgh similar to around here? I guess it's East Coast, so. Let me see. Wait, no way. Did they make this? Oh my god. This is fucking so cool. Is this a painted picture that they did? Yeah. You can smell it. It's like. Dude, dude. it's so good. It's so good. And these colors. Let me say it again. How good is this? It has a, a letter on the back. It will be impossible to even forget a cat that gave you this. So much to remember. Oh. This is your cup. So we got cups with our names on them. How does that work? How did it print on there? Oh, it's vinyl. Another beautiful day in paradise. Babe. <laughs> I'm crying again. But I'm on my period again. And I always get nice gifts around that time. But this is so sweet. And so true. Thanks for reminding us every day is a gift. This will serve... This will s serve as a reminder on the diff those difficult days. And it says, Coffee before claims. Oh my god, these are so cool. Coffee before no. claims, because that's what you always claim. I need coffee. <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> How classic is that? The Lolo got some gifts in here, though, and he might not even be over here. He's like so spoiled. It these gifts are just so epic that we've been Orange getting. County. Like... Like I magnet for our fridge. They're so thoughtful. Dude, they're so like literally awesome. better than anything any of my friends, not that I really have any, would like Let me see it. have Hold ever up. gotten me. And turn them, yeah. Oh my gosh. And then turn them the names. Amazing, dude. <laughs> like that thank you. Like you put a lot of thought into this. I want to drink my coffee tomorrow with this. I'm so excited to drink out of this. We're going to drink, drink out of it. Another beautiful day in paradise. Just drinking my Kill coffee. Kill people for claims. You right, though? <laughs> That's so true. We're going to need so some more. So Crystal did this. We're going to need some more wall space for these boys. So, I mean, this is so good. Paint like this. This is really good, actually. Amazing. Oh, no, no. Look, look at. Oh! No, no! What'd you get, no? What'd you get, Brad Doggy? He just wants to go to his throne. No, he doesn't. He wants to go find no, some shoes. No, he wants to see what pants. we were doing, and now that he saw, he's no, acting no. like he didn't want to see. Because he never goes in the room. Yeah, he's Brady. Don't give me that look, man. He's trying to act like he wasn't butt. interested in what we were doing. Come here, D. These gifts are just too good. No, no, guess. <laughs> this legit looks like Arlo. <laughs> it's a keychain. So funny. You might need that. And soft treats for none of his mouth. We'll try them tonight. These ones for sure. These ones are really soft. Oh, those too. are too. These are so like. He's so bratty when it comes to treats. He'll eat them. He will, and then we got this for our fridge. And these stickers, which is crazy. How cool. <laughs> I love my leg. Oh my god. What is that? No way. It's a gold sticker, dude. They must have like a, what are those machines called? Because like this is cover. so cool. Oh my god. No way. No way. Are they stickers? Yeah, dude. Oh dude, my god. No way. This is like extremely thoughtful. She told me she was making stickers, but I didn't know about all the other gifts. Wow. 
Lord, that these were gold. Oh my god. These are so fucking cool. I'm never gonna see those again. That's gold, boys. Where am I gonna stick it? No, no, come here. No way. Wow. Those are so amazing. Tom and Crystal just. These are too cool. Speechless. What are you saying? I said I'm speechless. Because these gifts are just, I just had deja vu, that was weird. But, I just, I don't know, these gifts are just so thoughtful. Totally, utterly blown away by the last two packages we got. Look it just at these. makes me feel really like, like loved that somebody would, you know, go through all this trouble to give us such awesome gifts. Amazing. It's really nice. All right, we are back at the house, obviously. Just had an epic, fun-filled day. Um, exploring stuff up. Pretty much movie locations for the movie Clerks and other Kevin Smith movies. Wasn't really what we were planning on doing, but that's just what happened. Um, it was pretty crazy, the scenario, when Will asked the lady to open the video store next to the quick stop she literally let us in and the vhs tapes from the movie were still in there the sign's still in there there's cardboard paper written on still in there um i didn't really get a thorough footage of it because she was going all right that's it get out get out but um literally she thought a customer was coming so she told us to quick get out of the video store because she had the key but really it was someone that came to the quick stop literally just to take a picture of the quick stop and would have loved to have seen the inside of the video store she just had no idea but um i'm going to try and add some of will's pictures to the video to give you guys a better idea of what was in there that still had like the numbers and letters on each vhs like the movie store rental place but um we're heading out going to sleep for the night so I'll see you guys in the morning for some more claims. You, you, you! What's the claim right now? So, it's rare when no no wants to like come and sleep with us this early. So, he sat in that spot. Like every time he comes up on the bed, we just give him the whole bed. So like me and Turner get this sliver of the bed so Turner sleeps right here and I sleep right here and then Prince Dodo gets the whole bed because he's a god and we love him so much we just don't want to disturb him and then when we have to get up to get like a glass of water or something we have to like slowly creep as elegantly as we can off of the bed so that Nona doesn't move because he gets grouchy because he's a prince and he functified this whole blanket. It smells like straight poop. Because <laughs> he slobbers on it and the slobber smells. But I love the smell of his slobber. So with that, a good night or good morning.